A power failure at the ground had fans stacked outside the venue, which delayed many from seeing the lap of honour for retired Geelong favourites Cameron Ling, Cameron Mooney, Brad Ottens and Darren Milburn. The Cats unfurled their ninth flag for their adoring fans, which underlined their strength. Three premierships in the last five years. Richmond had lost 14 of the previous 15 against the Cats, including the last seven, while coach Damien Hardwick said the 59-point pre-season victory at this venue against Geelong was irrelevant. One of three inclusions, Matthew Stokes got Geelong on the board in the opening seconds. You can see quite a few of them down there, but Stokes is still able to win the footy and kick a goal. From short range, Tyrone Vickery replied for Richmond before Joel Selwood set sail at the other end. Advantage paid and taken by Selwood. Can't go long for goal. Could go short to Hawkins. He decides that with the breeze, that will be a sit. What about that? Oh, he just summed it up, didn't he? Brett Delidio's long kick with the breeze set up a sitter for Jack Revolt to put the Tigers in front. Josh Hunt and Tom Hawkins unbalanced the ledger Geelong's way midway through the turn. He's got one to his name now. As Cats coach Chris Scott pushed the player names around to counter the Tigers' tactics, Dylan Grimes got away with pushing off the padded post. That's the point. Surely it went through. No, well, even if it didn't go through, Grimes put his hand on the post and pushed himself back into play, so it was an obvious point. Paul Chapman finally opened his goal-scoring account for 2012, while Stephen Motlop judged the breeze to perfection. Motlop is a speedster. How's the kick going to go? Crowd willing it on and holds up in the breeze. And Ponty Antley got there. That's their 12th mark for the quarter. Geelong, Richmond have not taken a mark. And that's the Geelong we know, Lynchy. That was just power football. And he turns around and drills it. In a quarter lean on goals, it took a turnover to produce the third. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hawkins, oh. Oh, not bad at the side of the boot. Stokes will just wait, 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 and he had to shot himself. Could have given, but he got instead. At half time, Geelong 7-3-45, Richmond 3-6-24.